What is going on guys? Welcome back. The video you're about to watch is taken from my full album reaction, which is live on Patreon. If you would like to support me directly as a creator, the link is in the description. Let's get into the video. Backwaters. And then we're going to move on to the seed of self-destruction. So at least I'll get a, an idea. Oh. I've just squeaked in front of I don't know how many thousand people. Honestly, just remove your like at this point. Just just remove it. But I'm not I, I don't deserve it after that. I think these guys are like a Thal band. Oh yeah. I already know. Okay, so definitely Thal, most certainly Thal. Kinda reminds me of the Currents vocalist a little bit. They are no This feels a little bit more like what I was ex I was uh, describing there a minute ago where first, well, first point I'll make before I go into that is these guys I'm assuming are all different members of, of, of previously existing bands. Like it would seem odd that a band would just jump on the scene in 2020, make their first EP and for it to sound this well polished. So I'm guessing that some of the members are from other bands that have been formed or, you know, are currently still going. Let me know in the comments. Th these guys sound like they're a metalcore band with that Thal influence as opposed to being like this Thal band. Like I I think Voljarta really fall like into that Thal sound where like the whole structure of each song is based around that unique sound that is Thal. And then Humanity's Last Breath, the exact same thing. Invent Anime, again, kind of sound like, an, they sound more like a similar to this, but it's on the other side of the spectrum. So it's almost like we have like three kind of categories. It's like the actual Thal bands. And then within metalcore Thal bands, there's like two subgenres of that as well. It's like the more, you know, cinematic, melodic sound that Invent Animate have. And then these guys, definitely like this track in particular has had more of a, like a metalcore pacing to it. We're yet to hear the like really like obvious tall sound. There is a little bit of the ambience in the background, but it's funny how you can see all like these subdivisions within a subdivision of a subdivision, like within genres already. It's like crazy. Just the, the rabbit hole just keeps getting deeper and deeper. So like, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's a good intro. So I'm interested to kind of like warm into them a little bit and now go into the seed of self-destruction, which was obviously the one that was massively requested and did win the Patreon poll. So we'll continue on for now. But yeah, it is, like I said, interesting to hear the, the subdivisions and the way in which we're going with this sound.
So it's uh, pretty cool being able to kind of discover the whole discography in one sitting. This is their more recent release. It's 18 minutes long. And it's a uh, 2022 EP. And like I said, this one was the only real album or EP from these guys that I'd seen suggested. So I'm guessing this one's probably better from the general consensus. Feels like a lot more structured fall. Kind of edging me a little bit with the like semi melodic vocals in it. Well, yeah, this is gonna like take a few listens to get into, but I feel like I really like this track. Strangely melodic. so much layers in this. Oh, strong all the way to the outro. Wow, that was a good track.
Jesus. never know if it's gonna come back in you just never know any point they can just hit you with the boom 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 no they're not gonna do it there's not enough time left but um yeah man i, I get the hype 